Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be decluttering my makeup station. I have got a mountain of makeup. I actually threw up an Instagram last night of a picture of all the palettes that I had and someone was like, please do like a show and tell like, and I was like, okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I need to get rid of half this stuff anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to do a little YouTube video of me decluttering my stuff. This is my makeup table currently. It's a very small table and there is just so much stuff. I did go to the range today and I ended up buying a like metal filing cabinet. It's not ready yet, so I can't show you. Um, I'll pop in a clip of it at the end of this video, um, maybe. And yeah, so I'm just gonna get rid of stuff now. I bought little baskets to put stuff into, but I'm just gonna talk you through them. Now I know the most exciting bit is the palettes. You're probably not gonna care about me talking through lip gloss and stuff, but I do the palettes first. And yeah, if you're watching this, have fun, sit down, relax. It's probably gonna, this probably won't be good if you actually do have like, like if you do love cleaning and things like that, because my stuff is dusty as hell. But we're here for it. Anyway, some of this is gonna be going to my friends. Like some stuff that I literally have used once will go to my friends and some stuff is just for the bin. But stick around, we're gonna go through it all. Like I said, this is my makeup station, but this is my box of palettes. If you didn't see my Instagram, this is it. This is she. Um, there is like three bottles in the top, but the rest is all palettes. So that's what we're gonna do today. So yeah, here we go. Let's start. This is now just a box full of palettes. I don't know if you can see, but let's just go through them. I'm gonna get rid of stuff. This is my eyelash and eyebrow lamination kit. I'm trained in this, so it's okay that I use them, but that's what that is. Oh my God, there's spoolies in that. Oh, I was looking for this, but this is what that is. I'm gonna obviously keep that because I need to laminate my brows later. So that is the keep pile. Up next, we've got the Bia Belle um, contour palette in the shade medium. This is a brand new one. Um, Lonnie being sent it out to me, so I was using this on my face today. I'm gonna keep this, but I have got two. So what I might do is I might keep the dirtier one and I might give this to the girls. So I'm gonna leave this on the bed because I literally have one, but it's just a bit too dirty to give to the girls. It's my own one. Um, and then I've got the Bia Belle golden gloss palette, filth. Like as in, it's just filthy, but it is actually really good as well. I've got a lot of highlighting palettes, but I do like this one. So we will give her a keepy weepy. And then we've got the Bia Belle. The reason these are on top is because I did a little Bia Belle demo last night. Um, and then I got the Bia Belle eyeshadow palette, which is actually really nice, really pigmented. So we're gonna keep her. Okay, I'm gonna start from the back. Okay, we've got some Bia Belle lashes. Um, I don't know where we're gonna put them yet. I have not decided on that yet. Oh, I'm actually breaking things. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna start with the biggest palettes first. Okay, the Be Perfect Carnival palette. Literally amazing. I broke the mirror in it, so Jamie had to take out all the glass for me. But this palette is unreal. I don't really wear kind of, like I used to use palettes like this when I used to, like, when I used to go to raves and festivals, because I used to do like really, really funky makeup, but I feel like now like less is more these days. And because I'm not like a Miwa, I don't like put up makeup like pictures on my Instagram when I do like no one ever fucking likes them anyway. So I'm gonna keep it because I do love the palette. It's just a shame that I don't get to wear colorful makeup as much anymore. But that is going in the keepers. Next, we've got the Be Perfect Mrs. Glam palette. This is the showstopper one. Again, it's so grubby, but I actually love this blush. It's one of my favorite blushes I've ever used. And then they are the colors. I wish I could kind of take the blush separate because I actually would probably give up the palette then. It's just that that blush is actually so nice. I could probably pop it out and give it to my friends, but I do like the colors and it's just like, I basically have this palette five, 10 times over. Like most of these colors that I use are in that palette, the candle one, or they're in another palette that I have. So, which is annoying because it's literally just taking up room, but I just love the blusher too much. So we're gonna keep her. Okay, up next. No, this one I've had for years. This is the Morphe palette. Okay, this is going in the bin. This is Morphe, this is the 35U palette. It's like the shimmer, colorful one. It looks like I've hit pan and awesome, but like I've only hit pan on like three different colors. The rest just broke, but that is it. But this is going in the bin. Like I need to stop being such a hoarder. Okay, bin. Okay, up next is the Revolution Emily palette. If you can see this palette I just bought cause it was like seven euro and I was like grand, worst thing ever. Brilliant size mirror, terrible colors. 
terrible. Like the pigment in them is actually shocking as well. Like it's shockingly bad. I know that that doesn't look that bad there, but it is. So I wouldn't recommend anyone to get this palette, but I think Revolution are kind of, they're kind of just the cheap, the cheap makeup brand anyway, aren't they? Like I don't really, I think Revolution just does good eyebrow pencils. And lip liners, I had a good lipstick from them before. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean that up and just ask my friends if they want it. Um, like it's not for me, but they might actually like it, I don't know. Next we've got, oh my, that's my back, it's killing me. Next we've got the Be Perfect Manifest Dream Big Palette. I love this. But again, can you see what I mean? Like, like, they're all so similar in a way. Like a lot of the colors are just replicated there. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I have got a code as well if anyone does want to get any of these palettes off Be Perfect. I'm keeping all of Be Perfect ones because like I said, the colors are really, really pigmented. They're really, really good. Um, and they have got an amazing range of colors. Like this one, the Mrs. Glam one is a bit more browns, but I just do love the blushers. I feel like all of these come with browns and stuff anyway. And this one has a nice pop of color. Um, the Carnival palette has mad colors in it, but I've got a discount code if you do want to use it because I am affiliated with them. So that would be Keely 20 Oh my God. My back, this position, isn't doing anything for me. But the code is key 20 it'll get you 20% off um, the entire Be Perfect website. So just in case you do want to, if I have any discount codes, I'll just shout them. Oh, for the Be A Bell, I actually discount code as well, but it'll only last until like this week. It's Keely 10. So if you're watching that after like the 7th of June, like that code is gone. Gone zone. Up next, I just burped. Um, up next is the Magic by Juvea. Like this palette has seen the worst of days. Like it's filthy. But the colors are still like I literally never used like the nude in this. I just never bothered with it. What I might do is I might clean this up and ask my girlfriends if they want it. Like it actually is perfect. It's just like like I'm never gonna reach for those colors. Like not in a million years. So I am gonna ask them if they want it. But I'm not gonna just tear it straight to the bin because they might, they probably won't. None of them wear colorful eyeshadow ever. So it more than likely is going to the bin, but I'm gonna clean it up and just ask them. I'm just gonna send them a snap, I'm not gonna bother bringing it over to their house. Right, so this is the Sample Beauties, the painter palette. I literally bought this recently. Again, like I know you're looking being like, Keely, you've got so many colorful palettes. Why do you keep getting more? And the reason is, you guys, is because I'm a shopaholic. I cannot stop buying things. I try not to. So, like, if there's money in my account, I just spend it. So, if I see, like, if I'm basically, if I'm, like, going online, if I'm buying makeup, if I need to buy foundation, I'm like, hmm, I have to pay four euro for delivery anyway. Let's see what else I can get. And I just buy shit. But I will say that the colours in this are really pigmented. So, watch, look. Like, I literally just tapped that. Like, it's the same colour as my nail. It's really good. I'm just going to wipe that inside there. Like, I'm so bad. But I'm probably going to get rid of these boxes. But yeah, really handy, I think, anyway. So I'm gonna keep this one. I promise I will start getting rid of some, but do you know what, they're fucking handy. And if anyone comes to me being like, makeup goes off, I should have palettes ain't gonna go off. I don't care if they say fucking 24 months and I'm, I'm keeping them for five years. I should have palettes the same with me to the grave. This is the Mim Mitchell palette. This was my first ever like palette that I really started doing cool eye makeup with. And I love it, I love this palette. I haven't reached for it in a while. It's mainly because I've gotten so into the Be Perfect ones, but I do love this, so I'm actually going to keep this. They don't sell it anymore either. Like this is like completely out of stock and I thought it was such a fab palette just because the colors are so nice. Like I feel like the colors are just so, they can kind of see loads of different things. So I'm gonna keep this mainly because it's discontinued and I love it. Okay, this is a small little Luna by Lisa Jordan like palette. Which are these kind of ones? Everyone kind of came out with these recently, didn't they? I feel like I'll keep this just for like, if I'm going somewhere in a hurry and like need to bring a little top up. But like, that is the only reason. But it would be handy if you like your handbag in that case, like, you know. Um, I feel like loads of people did come out. The Charlotte Tilbury has one like this and um, So Sue brought out one with Terry McAvoy. That's the same kind of four colors. But I'm gonna keep her. And I do like the Luna Valisa products anyway, so haven't tried it, but I do like it. Oh, I'm actually afraid of this one now. This is my Inglot. Who remembers Inglot like when you used to buy these palettes? and buy the individual things. This is mine. State, it's going in the bin, don't worry. But that was my Inglot. It's the Freedom Palette, is that what it's called? Yeah, the Freedom Palette. No, and you used to have to go and buy all the shades individually and they're like six quid. 
and we all just used to do it like to come out of class and then nights out then we'd be like can I use your palette and like yeah I was the one who had all the colourful stuff everyone else had browns so I had these colours that is the one in the am I going to offer that to my friends that is shit it's, I cleaned that like 10 times over as well it's still filthy up next is okay stay it oh, Stays with this. This is the original Associ Hot Fire palette. This is the first time it came out. It's been reworked like twice now. Um, like the mirror and everything is broken. Like I just used to love this palette. Like I was just like, this is how I started. Like this is one of the first palettes I started doing makeup with. The Mitchell one was the first time I started doing color with. But like this one got me through college. Got me through nights out. Like this was a saving grace. Got me through normal days. I fucking loved it. I feel like this after getting gas in my eye. Definitely didn't, but I'm just paranoid. Um, I love this palette, but sadly, as you can see, it needs to go in the bin. I think I also have a discount code for So Sue. That's an affiliate with everyone to stage. Um, I think it's Keely 20. Oh, I actually don't know. I'll leave the discount code on the screen there anyways. I won't say no more, but I'll figure it out and leave it there just in case you want anything. That'll just get your discount off the So Sue website off her tans and makeup, but I know that they brought out this palette as like a reworked one and I probably should get my hands in it, but, well, I don't need to get my hands in it. I've got some palettes, but yeah, she is going in the bin. So sorry, so sorry, so Sue. Actually love. Oh, speaking of so Sue, this is the face palette. So this is the reconstructed one. Um, I actually had the other one, the uh, the normal one, but it was, it was gone, like it hit pan, but I just did not want to say goodbye. Um, so this is she. This is the reworked one, so this one comes with the cream blush as well, which I love. It's actually really handy. I must keep this accessible to me because I actually really like using this. Um, so I would recommend getting this if anyone isn't like, isn't like used to contouring and stuff like that. Oh, so you can see my room. If anyone isn't used to contouring and things like that, I'd get this because it's a really good starting kit, um, especially for cream contours, because these are really, really, really blendable. So these four are cream and these four are powders. Um, I just find it really, really good to use. So I, like literally 10 out of 10 products. I really, really, really like that. Next is the So Su Glow Up Highlighter Palette. Um, this is she here. To be quite honest with you, I'm not knocking the product. I just don't like these colors. Um, I don't like I don't like um, shimmer bronzers, and I don't like this one here. So the only one I'd use would be this one here. I wouldn't use the highlight and blush or this one. Actually, I'd use this one down here because I like this shade. But the rest, I don't need. I'd only probably use this color and this color so for that reason i'm going to give it up to my friends um it's nothing got to do with the product itself it's my mom actually bought me this and i like highlighting stuff but i already have a be a bell highlighting palette and i just think like why do i need two um i probably have another one in here as well so i'm just going to offer this up to the girls they might be happy enough to take that next we got the two um cash you see palette so I am going to discount code for cash but I am affiliated but it's a link so I can leave a link to it in the bio to her website I'll leave an affiliate link to, for everything in the bio anyway just in case anyone wants to grab stuff not that this is a promo this is literally me decluttering things but I'm just letting you know the cash beauty secret treasure palette I got the entire um cash beauty secret treasure kit off my sister for my birthday like the entire set I love it absolutely love these colors can follow this i think it's absolutely stunning palette again i've just got a lot of browns and stuff like that but i need to just start switching around because i'm just a devil for grabbing one palette and just going with it but sure isn't everyone like and then i see palettes and like i love it and then i um cash kindly sent me out this one and i literally love this as well i just haven't gotten a chance to use the blue or the purple at the bottom i haven't really been doing makeup looks on instagram either lately um i'm kind of just doing fashion ones i feel like it's easier just to sit down throw on like makeup like this and take five outfit photos rather than sitting down like doing like a detailed makeup look which is annoying because i actually do really enjoy makeup which is i haven't got the time at the moment with my new job and stuff i'm talking a mile a minute i'm so sorry you guys but i'm gonna keep the two cash pads because i love them like no one else is getting their hands on them if i had a third one i'd give them we have a lot of palettes that we're keeping. Okay, so next is the It Style Contour Palette. Um, this is actually really, really good. This is it. Like, I, I wouldn't even say it's a cheap alternative to Sosu because I think it's the same price. I think this is like 26 euro and the Sosu is 29 euro. Um, but it is really good then as well. If you are looking to get one, it just doesn't come with a cream blush. I'm actually just gonna offer this up to the girls, even though I know it's well worn, but they just might want it. Because otherwise I'm just gonna throw this one out. 
Only reason I'm throwing this out is because this is a cream thing. So for eyeshadows, I don't feel like they go off, but something like this, um, I feel like these do go off. They start to like, the oil starts to separate and stuff like that. And it says 12 months on it, and I've literally had this for like 10 months already. So I'm just gonna ask the girls if they wanna just be using it for now. Um, Cause otherwise that's gonna be anyway. So I'm gonna offer that to them. I'm gonna clean it up, obviously. I don't know what's the fucking state. Right, up next, we've got the revelation again, like, I need, I'm not buying palettes anymore. I'm not, to be honest, a lot of them I got kindly gifted. I got gifted all the Be Perfect ones. I got gifted the cash ones. Um, lots of these are Christmas presents as well. My mom, every single Christmas, she buys me a colorful eyeshadow palette. I'm like, ma'am, I literally have an option. Like, there's only so much eyeshadow you can wear. Um, like, look at the state of this. The fucking state of that. I'm sorry, Revolution. Like, if anyone from Revolution has ever watched my videos, I'm really sorry. I'm gonna just ask the girls if they want to. And then they can just let me know if they want to keep them or not. And if not, I'll trip them in the bin. Um, anyway, back to this. This is the Bia... This is the Bia Bell palette that I have. This is the medium one, but literally it just nearly fell out of pan. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up this one and keep this one for myself because it's the exact same as the newer one. Um, but I just don't need two of them. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean this one up, keep this one for myself and give the girls the newer one. I think that's... The nicest thing to do. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm dying here. Anyways, moving on, another revolution. You already know this is going in the bin. Um, like, what do I be thinking? I know this one doesn't look that bad, but it is, it's that bad. Like, none of those colors are pigmented. Um, the loose glitter is just separate in your eyes. It's not good. Fuck, we're already in 20 minutes, like. Yeah, not good. Just gonna ask the girls. Again, if they want them. Okay, up next. Oh, this is like one of the, one of the first palettes as well that I was using. I'm sure the naked palette was one of everyone's firsts. But this is her. She's very broken. Um, she was she was loved. She was loved. To be fair, she doesn't look that she like she was loved. But I did actually love her. But I am going to clean her up and ask the girls if they want her. And if they don't, she's going to be. I have not reached for her in a very long time. Be perfect again. Manifest palette. Love this. This basically is kind of like the, the naked one. Like it has all the purple shades if I ever want them. So this is it. I don't really reach for this either. But again, like I said, I haven't really been doing any festival looks. <clears throat> At least I know that I have it. <clears throat> I can't. I can't do anything to my throat. But it is actually really nice. The golds are lovely. I'm just going to keep this one. I probably shouldn't keep this one. I probably should just give that away. Oh, here it is. Perfect Storm palette. If I was to recommend any palette for you to buy, it would 100% be this. Love this palette. Everyone online was like slating it because this bronzer doesn't look this highlight and doesn't look like a good highlight, but it actually is. It comes out really, really nice. I actually love this. The blush is really nice as well, and the contour is really, really pigmented. So that's actually something that I always reach for. Now, since I've got it, I've used it every single day. I didn't use it today though, because I had it tucked away in here because I was cleaning yesterday. Coming to the end now, girlies, and this is actually the last palette in here. This is from Essence. Essence sent this out to me. I do love Essence for their mascaras and their lip glosses and their daytime foundation, but this is just a little bit of a no for me, uh, mainly because I just don't use these colours and I find that it's a really, really small pan then as well. Haven't even tried to use it, to be fair, but I just wouldn't, I would never reach for something like this because I've got such strong pigmented palettes. So I'm going to offer this to the girls. The girls are getting everything. Right, we've got a packet of AliExpress eyelashes. Never wear them, but I keep them just in case of emergencies. Then we've got, we had another Bia Bell pack of lashes, but we've got a pair of Essence lashes. Very good, they're very natural. Then we've got a pair of Be Perfect lashes. And then we've got the PS individual lashes. And we've got some Essence um, French stick-on fingernails. If you can hear a sound, it's because I went into the bathroom and I turned on the explainer instead of the light and now i won't stop for five minutes and literally if you flick it on even for a second it'll stay on for like four minutes so annoying anyway i realized this um video is really long because the palette took me a really long time so i'm just gonna quickly go through the makeup i'm probably not going to get rid of any of my lipsticks and lip glosses um i don't i don't know why i won't i just won't i like having a big collection of lipstick and lip glosses so i'm just gonna start off with the powders and things like that so We've got little cases for them to go into, so I'm literally just going to start utilising these now and hoping that I just go really, really quick because, like I said, I just don't have the time. 
I don't want to make this video too long. I want you to watch. Sorry, can you see my, are my ribs so nice? I got makeup in the front bits now. But um, yeah, I'm just so happy I don't have roots. Okay, let's start. So I'm just gonna burn through. Okay, these little things I'm just gonna keep for, okay, I basically got four of them and I got three of these. So I'm just gonna start banging it out. Right, up first we've got mascaras. Um, I'm gonna keep mascaras, eyeliners and brows all together. Just find that easier. Okay, Luna by Lisa, keep pennies. Like this is a volumizer one. It's called Fall Slash Queen, keep very good. This is empty, so we are going to dump her. This one is empty though, so we dump. Long gone, pennies, fake it, that was shit as well. This is like a long Revolution Pro um, liquid liner, but I think it might be dried out. I'm just gonna check and see. It's shit. I don't even know what the other, what the white side of it is. I think it might be um, an eraser. Oh, it stopped, if you can hear that. But yeah, that's empty. Um, the Gimme Brow, I'm pretty sure this is empty. Oh no, there's a bit in this. Keep that. And then brown liquid liner. We should keep her, even though I have a better one. Um, this mascara is full. We got this mascara recently, but I don't really like it, but we're gonna keep her. And this one is nearly empty, but we'll keep her until she's gone. And then we've just got black liquid liner keeps and three eyebrow pencils. And at the moment, I'm just using the Penny's eyebrow pencils, but we're going to keep all of them. And this is the lip liner, but we'll sort her out in a minute. Right, okay, we're moving quickly here, folks. We're moving quickly. Right, this bit is what it's going to... This is going to be for face powders. Okay, so we've got a lot in here. We've got a lot. Okay, we've got this It Style face powder. I'm just going to ask the girls if they want it. Never going to use this. Is this powder? It's a bronzer, but like, it's really, really light. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Bin. Um, My Essence Skin Perfecting Loose Powder. It looks a bit dark. I don't know. I might keep. I might keep. I feel like loose powder is handy to have. But then I've got another loose powder here. A penny's one. Oh, okay. I have to jump one of them. Got my Laura Mercier. Obviously, we keep. Um, these are my two favorite bronzers. This is a shimmer one from So Sue, and this is the Be Bold Big Pan one. We are keeping the two of those because they are fucking both unreal. Literally. Okay, I need to get rid of some of these, so I'm actually going to leave them to the side for now. Um, a Catrice highlighter. I have a highlighting kit. I don't need this. I'll ask the girls if they want it. Um, mineral powder. This is blurring and mattifying. I don't use powder. I don't use um, a face powder. I only use Laura Mercier to set my face. So we won't keep that. Highlighting thing from Penny's. Um, I've got too many. So it's getting dumped. Catrice, good for you. Blush. What is it? Focus on the good. Sorry. Blush. And we're going to dump her. Gonna, I don't think I've ever used that last the girls. And then we've got this Nude Illusion Catrice powder. But I will actually keep this one because um, this is like a white one, which I find handy. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the two colored ones. I'll ask the girls if they want this one because I don't think I've used it properly, but I'm gonna just dump the Penny's baking powder. Um, and this is no shame in any of the brands. I just had too much makeup. Like it has to go to some use. So I have to get rid of it. This is an It Style highlighter. Again, now I have got highlighting palettes. So there's just no need. So I'm going to give that to the girls. Um, This is a small little blush. Like, no, we move. Bin. This is a Hula Bronzer. Hit pan. Bin. Um, Like, absolute state of these two makeup sponges. This is a Real Techniques one. It might be saved by the wash, but this is sick. And it's not branded, so I'm not gonna keep it. Empty lip gloss, lovely. Little mini hula bronzer, that's handy, we'll keep that. And what else is in here? Oh, is that all my powders? Okay, we've actually made good out of the powders because this whole thing was full. And now we only have got this much in here. So I'm happy with that. Now I'm kind of like, do I need to keep another one of those baking powders? No. I don't, I do not, I don't. We've got three primers in here. We've got an eyeshadow primer and stuff like that. But I'm gonna 
just moved this. Oh, I'm going to just put this back. Oh, we got the Juvea's Palace um, highlight powder. And we will keep that one because that one's actually very good. I'm just going to lock it away and put that in there. There's so much to go through. I'm just trying to make sure. I want you to see as much as possible. But guys, the little makeup bin is filling up. And there's a massive pile for the girls. Um, okay, next we're going to do foundations and concealers. Oh, look, there's another powder. So there is, I actually love this powder. It's the RCAMA powder. Um, but it's like a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. Not Charlotte Tilbury, the Laura Mercier, except it's just white. But like, they're all just translucent. Anyway. But I'll keep that, even though I've got another one saved. Doesn't matter. Okay, so we are going to go in with big palette for foundations, small palette for concealers. Okay, here we go. We'll start off with these at the back. Luna by Lisa, we love her. This is like the airbrush. Um, like it's kind of like the dupe for the Char Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Love it. Very good. I wear deep tan. Oh, sorry. After that, we threw in the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. This is only new. Love it. Watch the fingerprints. Love that for me. This is really good. It's like um, a really lightweight foundation. I did get... Oh, sorry. The shade I got is a bit dark, but like we move. We're fine with that. Um, Max Studio Fix Foundation. You cannot go wrong. Um, but LA Girl is my favourite, that's what I'm wearing at the moment. This is what I've been wearing like all my YouTubes, I'd say, because I absolutely love it. And then we bought the Sculpted by Amy Connolly Second Skin. Um, I've only used that once, but it is actually good. Okay, we've got the Wet n Wild foundation. Hate this foundation. Hate how it comes out, comes out on a fucking spatula. Hate that shit. Just gonna, I've used that once. Hated it, I'll ask the girls if they want that. Um, concealer. This is a pennies concealer. It's so good. If I'm wearing no makeup, I get this stick and rub it over like some of my spots and just spread it with my fingers. Perfect. So we're going to keep that concealer basket. I've got two of these here. Um, one of them is, okay, this one is, has something in it. This is the NYX Born to Glow Concealer. Love it. And this one is definitely empty. Okay, this one isn't empty, but that's a really, really, really good concealer. You just put under, I think I have that on today, actually. I don't know if you can see um, we've got the Revolution, like it's like a brown, con it's basically it's a concealer for um, dark skin girls because I just use it as a contour stick. Um, so I have that in there now. This is the Essence Skin Love and Sensitive Concealer. It's actually nice, it's really bright as well. It's more like an olive undertone though. Um, Catrice, which is empty. This is the Ordinary um, SPF Foundation. It's really oily, but we'll keep her. This is the Revolution Pro um glowy primer we're going to keep the primers but we're going to keep the primers underneath the um foundation so i'm just gonna get out the ones that are in here as well this is a good by pores primer i'm not going to use this so i'm going to give that to the girls we've got a small little professional one i'll use this one see i don't really have my makeup doesn't really sit in pores like you're probably looking at that like yes it does but it doesn't really like a small bit like but not as bad as you know this is the catrice beauty full HD this is a really dark one though but I will keep it but it's a bit dark I have to like wear lots of um powder with it this is the essence stay all day 16 I'm gonna keep this one because I don't have any daytime foundation and I feel like when I'm like this is something that's good but I'm not looking to look this dark so I'm gonna keep this one for that purpose this is a revolution liquid highlighter it's like a rosy color we're going to give that to the girls we've got this LA girl but I got this in the wrong shade it's a really really dark shade I'm still gonna keep it um in case I ever get like a natural tan or something like that and I just need it. Um, this is the LA Girl Concealer we love. And this is a dupe for the P. Louise base. It's the Revolution Pro um, Full Camouflage. Love that. So we'll keep her and we will hide this little baby in here. So these are my concealers and these are my foundations. We actually did, we did get rid of a lot. It just doesn't look like we did. Okay, plowing through these now. I think we're working at a good pace here. I think we're going okay. And I think we're having a good time. Wow, I didn't think I'd have that much foundation left, but like, is there a need for me to have one, two, three, four, one second, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten foundations after I've dumped them out? I don't think so. I don't think there is. What was this supposed to be for, ladies? Huh? Because nothing, nothing's here. We will leave her. We will come back to her. Um, okay, concealers. Okay, put that in. 
right next we are moving over to this station over here this is actually a primer so i'm going to keep that with foundations so this is the best primer ever it's the ordinary high spreadability fluid primer love this i love fluid primers i think they're way nicer than like the tacky kind of ones you draw up on nope that's lovely sometimes i just use moisturizer sorry guys i'm burping like mad i just had beans should be farting so but i don't fart because i'm a girl um Olivia Neal farts, but I am not Olivia Neal. Right, this is going to be for lip liners because trust me, we've got loads. Right, toffee lip liner, pennies, essential, only one everywhere, literally on my lips. If I've got another one in here, I'm not going to keep it, as in if I've got another colour, no point in me keeping it. Okay, this is eyeliner, so we're going to keep the eyeliner with the mascaras, like we said. This is from Hestia Beauty, it's a um, eyelash serum, it's castor oil, we we'll actually will keep that, but I don't know where to keep it. I'll leave that with the eyelashes. This is a brow gel, but I don't use it as a brow gel. I use it to like keep down my stray hairs, if you can see, like so. But I use it when my hair is tied up, so like I scrape back the hairs. I'm gonna just keep that in the top drawer of my beauty table. I feel like that's the easiest place to keep it. Right, up next we've got the Cash Lip Liner. This is in the shade Rose Nude. It's literally full because it's a really, really light one, so I don't really use it. The only time I use it is if I put it on my lips and then I wear lip gloss. Kind of gives a nice effect. We've got True Nude as well, same buzz. Put it on my lips, then I'm putting lip gloss um, and it works. This is the Catrice Aqua Lip Liner Pen. Terrible, never gonna use that. Bin. I'll like turn over the pile for the girls, but that's gonna go in the bin. Um, Sorry, I don't wanna say it's terrible. Like, I really like Catrice in essence. I really, really do. Um just some of this like some products i just don't like from different brands you know what i mean um this is the desert sand lip liner from pennies i actually have no idea why i bought that because i don't know if that's any good but i've never used it so i'm just going to keep it in case of an emergency um this is the rust nude lip liner from cash love this literally the best lip liner you're going to get this is a catrice lip fountain lip foundation pencil and i actually love this one it's in shade Mm, cool brown I think it's actually really really good it's really dark it's more like you're wearing a dark lipstick but um this is a brown uh liner from Stila I thought this would be a lighter brown it's a really really dark brown it's almost black so I'm not really standing for that um this is an essence make me brow brow gel mascara that's grand for when you've got no makeup on um we've got another toffee lip liner of course we do we've got another one of those brow things this is empty what is this like this is called spice it's a purpley lip liner mm, i don't want to keep it because there's no lid oh here's a lid okay we'll keep this is the so sue lip liner again this is a this is birthday suit it's really really nude throw it on when you've got no when you when you don't put lipstick on you basically just draw your outlines and you put on a bit of lipstick it actually works um okay we've got uh, another desert sand i must have bought them thinking they were toffee by mistake We've got a red lip liner. I'll just keep one because I don't really wear it red, but you'll always need one. This is a gel black eyeliner, but you know what? That has been around for a long time, so we will throw her in the bin. What is this one? This is a uh, bondage gasmetics. What the fuck is this? Oh, I have no idea what that is. Bin anyway. Right, so these. this is what we're left with here. This is a brow pencil. I don't know why I even want to keep that. Oh, that's a black lip liner. Now we're left with all these products and no lids. The two so sumis are gonna be fine without lid. This, this is toffee again. Like it's so small though. Look at that. This is like one of the original toffees. I'm gonna dump the toffee so I can put the lid from the toffee onto the black pencil eyeliner, and I'm gonna dump these two. It's like a brown. Um, liner and red one but i'm just never going to use them and they're really old as well so I'm making progress these are the lip liners we decided to keep today i am ridiculous i have way too much way too much what's wrong with me um okay look that's what's wrong with me next we are going to do lip glosses should i put my lip glosses and lipsticks in this or should i just keep them in the little stands that they're in I don't know. Maybe, no, maybe I'll put my lip glosses and lipsticks in this. Right, so Anastasia Beverly Hills. I got a four, five pack of lip glosses. They're like um, liquid lipsticks. 
keeping all five they're all new literally got them last week thank you for beauty bay for sending those out to me and um, we've got the shimmer lip gloss from essence which i love and this is actually a clear lip gloss from essence but as you can see it's not clear anymore because it goes on my lips so much but i actually love it it's my favorite lip gloss in the entire world we've got this smashbox lip gloss and i've had it for years it's definitely expired but i'm gonna keep her because i don't know if i can get that one again this is a glaze cosmetics the perfect lip gloss i don't even know what this is okay it's a pink one I don't know. I'm gonna keep it because I've never used it. And like, you never know when you might need it, kind of a thing. This is a Smashbox lip gloss as well, but to be honest, like, I'm only keeping the other one because I love it. This needs to go in the bin. Why did I put lip gloss on? My, lip, my lipstick's all separate now. This is one of those old sleek, matte me lipstick. Six bin anyways oh this is actually lovely this is from essence as well but this is a what the flick um lip pumping lip gloss and it's actually really really good use that the other day okay so this is how we're set the glasses so far it's gonna keep the glasses at the bottom but this is how we're set for glasses um i'm gonna put all these compartments in the dishwasher and i might I might put them under the bed for storage because I might use them someday but I think for now I'm gonna go using the lockers okay these are two pigments um, I think I'm going to have to put pigments in here to be honest with you guys. These are both from the cash. They're like liquid pigments. They're really good. Just going to throw them in the basket. Really happy with them. Okay, MAC empty. So the thing was, I was actually keeping so many lipsticks because I was trying to just keep these things full. But like, what is the point in doing that? Like, so that is empty. Oh, I should keep the empty, shouldn't I? Because if we bring five empties, you get free lipsticks. Oh. Might do that. Might save up a little collection of MAC. Um, this is a Catrice. Oh, I remember this one. It's actually really nice, but it, the color doesn't suit me. So I'm going to offer that to the girls. Um, this is, oh my God, I literally love this lipstick. Look, it's down to the butt. This is an Essence lipstick and it's called This Is Me, shade 03. And it's in this one. Very nice. Just going to throw that in the bin. See what I mean? I just keep it empties. It's ridiculous. This is like a red. I'm actually going to keep this because I haven't got any red lipsticks, but I'm going to keep her. Um, that's from Essence first lipstick I'm keeping the three cash lipsticks 100% keeping not even going to show you or uh, you know what do you want not even going to show you I'm keeping them and that's that that is final and my three so sue by SJ lipstick I'm going to keep the three of them so this is how we are for lipsticks wow I actually feel like we've done a lot of decluttering here girls like I don't know about you but I'm feeling like really really like secure in myself or something like I feel like this is actually just a breakthrough for me I don't really know uh, but I feel good I feel brilliant I think it's because I like to have like this facade of, like looking like we've got loads of stuff and when everything was up there I liked how everything looked so full but now that they're finally going into a cabinet they don't have to be full no more like nobody can see I just like having a big collection of anything like I've got like 30 coats because and I wear like the same one coat the whole time anyway this video is too long this is Indestructible Brow by Be Perfect who texts me India <laughs> India's definitely gonna watch this um India you interfere in you interfere in my video um, be perfect in destructive brows, soap brows. She's literally sending me a million messages. Sorry. Um, fuck. Okay, now my brow thing, my brow and mascara thing is full. Right, so pigments that we're keeping are going in here. Okay, lads, I'm gonna have to find more brow products. I think the brow, okay, the brows are gonna have to go in the lip gloss. Maybe just like the brow. Oh, I don't know, I'm making a balls or something. I didn't know I had so much brow products. Okay, gold glitter, we'll never use that, but we'll keep her in case we've got a Halloween thing. This is an Inglot glitter, love it. Keeping it. This is a Penny's gold glitter. I'm sure it's empty at this stage. I'm gonna just keep all my pigments. This is an Inglot pigment, I'm just gonna keep them all. There's no point in me saying I'm gonna try any of these out because I'm not. Absolutely not. Like you never know when pigments are going to come back into fashion. And we've got our duo glue. Didn't even know I had that. But I'm going to squeeze her in. These are my pigments. Okay. Just before I let you go, I actually have a bag. Okay, this. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to fit this in. This makeup bag is basically all the stuff that I never wanted to deal with. And I just throw them in here. But this, this, this is gonna be it. So okay, this is the last thing. I'll whiz through this now. There's probably gonna be. I'm probably gonna be able to edit this out. Look, edit this down a bit. 
But this is basically where I dump makeup that I don't like on my beauty table anymore. Or makeup that's literally gone. And I just decided, no, I don't want to try that out just in case. My perfect color. That ain't my perfect color. Maybe that's the real me's perfect color, like behind the tan and the freckles that I now have, things like that. Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. Too light for me, offering it to the girls in case they need a daytime. Essence True Skin, again, way too light for me. Gonna offer that to, to the girls. That's a really good foundation though if you want it. Penny's Skin Primer Bin. Um, Catrice Volumize Booster Lip Gloss. We're gonna keep her. Cause that's actually a really good product. Okay, we've got two liquid matte red lipsticks. We're gonna keep one. We're gonna keep one. The Penny's one is actually like all gone. So we're gonna keep the Revolution one, even though I don't want it. Just, you never know when you need a little red lipstick. This is a nail varnish. I'm gonna just put that in my nail varnish bag. Oh, this is the Penny's Double Wear Foundation. And I actually used to love this. Don't think I have a need for it anymore, but let's just have a look. It's actually full, so I'm gonna keep this one. I know I probably shouldn't. Like. I am the worst person ever, but we're just going to keep that. Um, this is an LA girl and it's like empty. It's not empty, empty, but it's empty. Do you know what I do? It's because like when I was in college and stuff, I'd never throw something out in case, even if I bought a new one, I'd keep the old one just in case I did run out of foundation so I could go back to the old bottle. But I don't do that anymore because now I have so much makeup all the time that there's no need. This is um, a, an It Style foundation, but I actually ordered a foundation that was out of stock because they sent me the shade down. But I wish they sent me the shade up because I was going with a safe colour anyway. But this is way too pale. So again, I'm going to see if the girls need any daytime foundations. This is the It Style lip gloss. We love it. We're going to keep it. This is a Catrice concealer and it's empty. That concealer is brilliant. Lots of my products actually Catrice and Essence. Like they have brought me through the fucking years. Like they have really saved me. This is a Rimmel London. I actually had nothing Rimmel. I had one mascara I think. This is a Rimmel London lasting matte foundation. I don't wear matte foundations. I'm gonna ask the girls if they want it. Um, this is a mini MAC lipstick. It's dark purple. I'm not trying this out because my friend Laura bought this for me. For, my, for like my birthday like two years ago or something like that. I'm not showing that out. Another little mini MAC. And it is a glittery pink one. Oh, I know. I need to stop reading my messages. Sorry. Keeping that. This is the Double Glaze Lip Gloss from Be Perfect. I really do like this. I just find the applicator hard to scoop up a good amount of product onto it. So I don't really use it that much. But this bag needs to be emptied. Okay, we've got a Rimmel London Lasting 25 Hour Pump. Don't even think this is mine. I think this is my friend's always. And I think I've had this for two years. I'll see if she wants it back. Smashbox purple lip gloss bin. Um, oh, we've got another double glazed. This is the exact same pink one. I think I got it in a PR package. I'm just going to get rid of that. We've got some makeup brushes in here. Oh, we've got this Elf Pop jelly. It's like a, a jelly blush, if you can see. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep it with the powders. Because remember, I just said I didn't have any blushes. Well, yeah, now I have one. We've got some fake blood and some white face paint. Don't know, these are just gonna go in the random drawer. Like the random drawer. That's just where they're going. The P. Louise um, eye things, that's gonna go with my concealers. I've got this Supreme Velvet lipstick from Be Perfect, keeping that. Oh my God, the P. Louise blush. This is my favorite blush ever, but as you can see, it's it's gone, it's dead, it's gone. We have to get over her. This is a Penny's High Shine Lip Gloss. We need to bin that. That's been around for years. This is a Wet n Wild Stick Foundation, like a pan stick, guys. Fucking nasty, that is going to bin. Don't know what that is. Okay, now what we're left with is um, shitty makeup brushes. Won't go through my makeup brushes with you, but um, yeah, that's everything. Hey guys, checking back in. It's actually nearly, nearly midnight. Uh, I'm just adding this final bit because I got my draw organized. I thought you might want to see. So this is the new, area. I'm just gonna flip it. This is the new area. So this used to be in here and now it's like outwards facing. Ignore the state of the room behind me. Need to clean, but these are all my makeup brushes. I told you I had loads. I need to clean them. Um, but I literally have so many. Um, but we've, this is just hair tools now. This is basically the hair electronics. And then this is like hair tools if that makes sense. And then we've got this filing cabinet that I got it. I'm just gonna see if I can zoom out. Yeah, this is like the filing cabinet that I got in the range today. So I'm just gonna show you the drawers. Okay, so at the top we have mascaras, lip liners. You've seen all this anyway, so this is how I organized it. 
Um, there's just loose stuff then as well, so they just went to the side, like things that just didn't fit anywhere else. Um, I don't, that's a bit messy there, isn't it? But, oh well. Foundations, it's nail varnishes. <gasps> what? We have an empty drawer. What? Okay, that's all my fake tans. I did not realize we had an empty drawer, you guys. That's all my skincare. And then that is my palettes. So yeah, I love it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I cannot believe we have an empty drawer. What am I gonna put in there? I'll probably put like the little bits inside that maybe if I get another box for it. But, yeah, that's it anyways. Like I said, ignore, stay in my bed, but everything just needs to be cleaned. But that is it. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.